Brandon, quit hogging the good bag. Oh shit. If I could hit it like that every time. Out of all the drivers I've tested so far in 2022, that last session of hitting was What's up golfers, welcome back to New Night in Golf. We're here again at Modern Golf in Calgary, looking at the brand new Cobra LTDX driver lineup. There's a few different models for the different golfers and I'm gonna dive into the differences, but what I've been hearing from the golf community is that this is the hottest driver of 2022. Guys like Bryson DeChambeau and world long drive champ Kyle Berkshire are now hitting the Cobra LTDX lineup and I wanna see for myself, is it a hot driver? I'm gonna tell you how it looks, how it sounds and how it feels and then we'll look at my data to see if these are big numbers. Before we get out of here, smash subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see our future club reviews. Let's take a look at this Cobra driver lineup. All right, so Cobra has three different heads for us to choose from. The first being the LTDX Max. This is their low to mid spin, high launch and extreme forgiveness driver. I'm thinking that this is for the weekend warrior, the 15 cab. If you don't always hit the center of the club face, this is the first driver that you should be looking at. Next up, we have the Cobra LTDX. This is getting into their lower spin, mid launch, but they're saying it's still extremely forgiving. That's enticing to me as a lower handicap, someone that doesn't always hit the center of the face, but I need something lower spin, lower launch, so I'm excited excited to hit this one. Last up, we have their player's driver, the LTD XLS, LS standing for low spin. It's a lower launch, lower spin, and it's not as forgiving as the first two that we talked about. So I'm nervous excited to hit this one because I wanna see what my dispersion looks like, but I'm hoping that it's as hot as everyone's saying. This year's Cobra is giving us two different colorways of the same driver heads. The first being black, with gold kind of coppery accents and then some white lettering. Well, the other one is blue with white accents, gray and then red weights. They both look very good. The biggest difference that I know is looking at the crown is that the blue version is glossy where the black version is matte black. So it's up to your personal preference if you prefer playing obviously a blue driver or a black driver. It's totally up to personal preference but it's just one cool option that Cobra is giving us. One thing that Cobra has that's different from a lot of other drivers is its milled face or the Cobra hot face. If you look really closely, it looks almost like a putter that it does have milling across the face. And I assume that's what's gonna be helping us with our forgiveness. On the crown of the driver, it has these two accent lines and they're raised. So when you look down at the ball, those two lines are quite apparent that it lines up with the center of the club face. And that kind of comes down to personal preference if you prefer seeing something raised on a driver head. I know there's other <laughs> I know that there's other drivers that do have similar raised accents on the driver crown. It kind of comes down to personal preference. For me, I don't personally prefer there to be accents on the crown of the driver, but these ones look subtle enough that they don't really bug me looking at it. So I can say the previous model of the Cobra driver lineup was the Rad Speed and it had the E9 face. That has since been changed to the Hot Face and the Hot Face stands for, let me pull up my phone so I don't forget, the highly optimized topology. Why would you use the word topology when talking about drivers? The last thing I wanna be thinking about is topping my driver. However, it's supposed to be built for more speed and more speed across the club face. Cobra knows that we don't all hit the center of the club face, so if we can still get good ball speed out of a toe hit or a heel hit, that should in theory be a better performing driver. Something cool that Cobra is going to be offering us in the LTDX driver lineup is they're including Arcos technology. So you get the sensor in the club and then if it's something that you like after the free trial runs up, you'll have to pay for the subscription through Arcos. Something that Cobra is offering us is what they call a tour length driver. So as we know, Ricky Fowler, probably one of the biggest poster boys for Cobra, uses a shorter driver shaft and increased head weight to make up for that swing weight. So that's something that they're now offering to the masses, kind of because Ricky and other tour players do it. So I'm ready to start hitting these drivers, but I'll let you guys know the one that I'm not going to hit is the LTDX Max. Because drivers are so hard to get right now with all these COVID delays, Modern Golf only has a 12 degree driver head in the LTDX Max, and it's just something that I would never play, so I think it's unfair for me to give my opinion hitting a driver that's just not even in my wheelhouse. So the two that I'm going to be hitting is the LTDX and the LTD XLS, the low spin model, and I'm excited to hit these because it's supposed to be, as they're telling me, hot. To keep the comparison fair, I have both drivers dialed at the same head setup, which is minus one degree, so eight degrees. And the shaft that I'm using is the LEGP Tour AXX Blue. It's the shaft that I've been playing for the last year, so I've got that in both driver heads. I'm going to be using a Pro V1 RCT ball, which is specific for TrackMan, which is what we're gonna be getting our data on a TrackMan. So let's go hit these drivers and see how they perform. 
All right, looking at the driver visually, the LTDX only has the one gold swing weight at the back. There's a lot of kind of uh, tribal graphics going on here mixed in with some carbon. There's carbon on the bottom as well as the top of the driver. Because it is matte, I like that. I personally don't prefer the shiny top. And those raised lines are definitely apparent that I see those at the top of the crown. Uh, I'm ready to hit it, so let's see what type of numbers we get. Brandon, quit hogging the good bag. Oh shit, call What's me. What's going on? Hey, I didn't know you are in town. Good to see ya. You too. Good to see ya. This is perfect that you came because we're doing a Cobra review and I know that you play Cobra. I do play Cobras. Here, I'll show you the brand new Cobra. Okay, you please play, do. This is yours. You play the Rad Speed. I play up yeah, Rad Speed. It was the first, actually last year was the first year I've ever played Cobras. I liked it to be honest. What's your affiliation with Cobra? How did you make a switch over there? I actually ended up, I'll give a little shout out to Ben Hebert and Bo Levi Mitchell. Um, they asked me if I wanted to do this little Team Cobra thing. I'm like, yeah, sure, and get some clubs. And so I played them all year, they're great. Wicked. This is perfect. So you haven't even seen the new one. Haven't seen it, haven't touched it. I seen one video online, I think of Ricky hitting it. Okay. Ricky Fowler hitting it. Yep. Well, obviously he's gonna hit it a lot better than I do. Well here, I'll trade you, I'll take your driver. Okay, you can take yeah. a look, this is the LTDX. Uh, what's your first opinion just looking at it? Looks good to my eyes. It looks square. Let me compare it with this. I actually like the lines on top on this new one better than I like that. They're less subtle. Like on the old Rad Speed, you can almost not even, the lines are faint. Can, yeah, to be honest, I don't even know if I noticed it until right now as I'm looking <laughs> over it and I played this club all summer. Yeah. But yeah, it looks good. How about the sole? What do you think of the sole looking at it? It looks good, adjustable. What's this, seven and a half to ten and a half? You can adjust it that much. It's okay, it's a nine. Oh, but you can move it that much. Yeah, so I have it set, I think, for an eight for me is how I was hitting it. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see, since you play Cobra, why don't we see if your results get better with the new ones? That'd be nice. So for the Let's audience, we'll get Mike to hit his driver, and then he'll hit the new one, and then we got a straight comparison of last year versus this year. Perfect. Let's get you swinging. Let's do it. Sick. Which one okay. should I go with first, mine? Um, yeah, what shaft do you have in yours? Does the hazardous blue smoke? Okay, Kami, so what we'll do for this test, which will be a really good test, okay. is you hit some with your rad speed. My driver, okay. Get some data, yep. then we'll give you the new driver, okay. and then you can see if you feel a difference, hear a difference, and then obviously I'll take a look we'll at the check data some numbers. and see what okay. it looks like. Oh, that's not gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> that's in the bush left. Hopefully that new driver goes straight. <laughs> so for people that have never played with you, what kind of handicap are you? How often are you playing? My handicap goes from anywhere. I think right now I'm sitting at a 3.8. Uh, if it wasn't for the putter, I'd probably be a 10. That's the one thing that I can kind of do oh, is really? putt. Okay. Yeah, I kind of scrape it around. But yeah, I, I've gone anywhere from a, the lowest I've ever been is a 0.5, which is amazing. I'm nowhere near that now. And I go up to probably a five. Would okay. Be about right. Okay. My problem is getting to the green. Turn the cameras on, I'm yanking everything. <laughs> That's even further left. I know that feeling. I save all my shitty shots for uh, whatever you're yeah. No, it's at least in play, I think. Well, that's about all I got in the tank there. Okay. 301. You'll take that every day. I would take that every day. Let's hit one more so we got one more? Okay. a group and a daddy, and then I'll give you the new one. I'm gonna try and hit one right. That sounded hammered. A little better, I think. No, worse. That's a playable draw, though. Here, I'll give you the new one. Okay, let's try that. So, so same shaft, right? Exact same shaft. So the only difference in this club, obviously other than the head, the only difference from this club to that one it's supposed would be to the grip. And then obviously the head is different. But totally, yeah. So there's some new technology, like uh, Cobra totally did reconstruct the head. 
Okay. They started with these big hitters. So like uh, Bryson DeChambeau sure. and Kyle Berkshire, the world long yeah. drive champion. Yeah, yeah. Cobra took these guys and said, okay, we need to build a faster, bigger driver for you guys that want to hit it further. Okay. Normally, it's so like the rad speed is built for the masses. Yeah. Right? Let's take the average everyday golfer right. and put something in their hands that they can hit. Yeah. Where the way they built this is they started with these huge hitters okay. and then and built it off of that. Built it off okay. of that. All right. So there's definitely some technology change, Correct. but it's supposed to be a super hot driver. That's what everyone's talking about. So I'm interested to see what you think hitting this new one. Well, hopefully I can find the club face. <laughs> it looks good. Oh boy, that's high on the face. So you think that was a miss hit? That was that was a hundred percent a miss hit right there. Two seventy five carry two ninety three. I don't even think you hit those numbers with your last driver. No, I didn't. Okay. And, and honest to God, that was well. You could see I hit that thing here. Well, that's pretty high. That's high on the face, okay, and that's not far from hitting that right into well, my own let's face. Let's hit a couple more. Okay, let's see if I can try and. I'll take a two nine two seventy four carry miss. That one felt great. There we go, there's the three bills. If I could hit it like that every time. Hey, a little baby my, cut. Oh, that would be so good. Baby cut, two. Do I have to hit any more? Can I leave that? Well, let's hit a couple more okay. just to see if those first two okay. were lucky, but I have a feeling they weren't. That is the best I can hit a golf ball right there. <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple more swings, but it is not getting better than that for me. Okay, well, hey, that's the benchmark. Let's see if you can uh, surpass that 286 carry 304 total. Oh, boy, I'm going to throw my back out trying to do it. We don't got to swing any further. You know, keep the swing the same. That's right. You're right. Swing it harder. It doesn't go as far. Let the Cobra do the talking. Oh, God. Do it again, please. Nope. <laughs> Tried to kill it. Didn't take my own advice. <laughs> we'll forget about that lot. one. That's okay. That was almost missed. Yeah, push that screen in. That one felt good. I don't think it went left, a little bit. Baby cut though, like not a pull at all. No, that's in play, that's fairway. 274, let's do one more, then one we'll more. all the numbers. So that was my second best one. The one I hit the best, I flew about as far as that one went, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, Or carried it, I should say. Come on, one more. Oh, I missed that too. That felt low. One more. Okay, one Can't more. Can't finish with that one. That's still in play though. Totally. That's yanked, but I felt pretty good. 320 total, that was your biggest one yet. That is. And pretty high club head speed too, buck 16. That's as fast as I can swing it. I like that other drive more, that little cut. God, I wish I could do that every time, but that's, <laughs> I don't hit it 320 very often, I'll tell you that. Okay, so before we even look at the numbers, Based on your current driver, the Rad Speed, yeah. and that one, would you upgrade to the new Cobra? I would upgrade, yeah. yeah. And I like that club. Like I, I liked it last summer, but I really like the looks of this. I, I really like the looks of that, 320. I know I pulled it a little bit, well, here, but it, I don't know if there's too many. Let's look at the two numbers. So we got a pretty good collection of both of them, right? Yeah. So all this is your average that we're looking at here, okay? okay. So clearly the miss is left. It's left, yeah, I gotta get rid of we that. We could do something with changing the club settings to sure. put it on, maybe a fade bias. Could do that, right? yeah. So average, you know, you're averaging 260 carry, 290 total with your current rad speed. Yeah. Okay. We take a look at the Cobra LTD XLS. So the difference in, let's just look at carry. You gained 11, 11 yards, yards 11 in carry yeah. and you gained more on your total too. Yeah, more on the total, but you that 11 yards of carry is big. And your biggest drive out of all of them was 293 carry. With the old one. With the old one. Yeah. And with your current driver, you only had 276. Gotcha. So almost 20 difference yeah, total. A, I mean, that's a massive difference. So already, you know, we've, we've debunked that the new Cobra lineup is a much hotter driver. It's a hotter driver. And out of those four or five drives that I hit, I would say I hit, I hit two of them hard. The one that was down the middle, I would take that all the time. I hit that one good. And that one I yanked it, I pulled it a little bit. But other than that, I mean, those other drives were misses too and the numbers are still higher. Awesome misses. Um, 
Kami, I really appreciate you coming onto the channel. Uh, thanks. You've been a big, <laughs> you've been a big supporter of ours, even going back a couple years doing the Masters yeah, stuff. Yeah, we got to do that again. We'll do the Masters again, give you guys Masters preview. Stay tuned for that. But uh, thanks for stopping by Modern Golf. And, thanks for having uh, me. Appreciate it. Maybe we'll be putting the new Cobra in your bag. I got to go shopping. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks, Perfect. man. Cheers. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. All right, guys. That was super cool that Kami came by. And with him being a Cobra guy, it was cool to see the results of his rad speed versus the LTDX lineup. So finally, I get to hit this beast and uh, let's see the results that we get. I wanted to go back to the visuals really quick because the more I look at it, I think it's actually pretty ugly. <laughs> like out of the other drivers that are out there, it's not the most visually appealing in my own personal opinion. But with Kami's numbers, like the results speak for themselves. So let's give this a series of hits. First couple hits, it actually feels really good across the face. I've never liked a lot of the Cobra Driver's sound, but this sounds really good. Woo! That was the first one that got away from me. The thought that I had in my head before that hit, was, oh, the harder I swing, the straighter it goes. Good enough collection of data. I'm out of breath. I'm trying to swing it hard like those uh, big hitters. Okay, first impressions of the LTDX before looking at the data, felt really good. I told you guys I wasn't the biggest Cobra guy in the past. And this is starting to change my mind, that it felt really good, sounded good, and I was getting pretty good numbers as I was looking at them as I was hitting. Something I do wanna get into is the feedback that I'm feeling across the face. I know for a fact I didn't hit everyone dead center. I had some toe hits and some heel hits, but they all felt very similar. So I personally like to know exactly when I toe it, and you'll feel it in the head. I feel because maybe it's a really forgiving face, but that's why I'm not getting that same feedback. But that's just my first thoughts. Let's take a look at my data. So with this supposed to be a lower spin model, we haven't hit the LS yet and that's the lowest spin. The spin rate is still fairly high at like 3000 RPM, that's definitely not ideal. So I hope that comes down as I hit the LS. But I was getting some pretty big numbers, like a 295 carry, 317 total. If I see what my biggest hit was, there was definitely some that I was trying to go at, thinking of you know Kyle Berkshire and Bryson DeChambeau, these are built for big, big hitters. Let's look at this one, 301 carry. And that was like a cut. So my spin was down on that specific hit, like rated ideal 2100 RPM, 301 carry, 332 total. Without question, that's a hot driver. So obviously I had a bunch of drives that accumulates the average, but I was actually pretty happy with my dispersion too. My normal shot shape's a cut and I had almost no misses left. So for me going from my current driver into this one, it has the same characteristics as far as ball flight goes, and it has pretty big numbers. So overall, I am impressed with it. Minus the way that it looks. I don't love the way that it looks. I like the way it sounds, and I obviously like these results. Now what I'll do is I'll plug in the LTD XLS and see how these two drivers compare. So the biggest characteristics difference visually between the LTD X and the LTD XLS is the LS has the weights move forward. There's two weights up front closer to the face where the LTD X has just the one weight at the back. That's the biggest difference visually. Now let's hit it and see the results that we get. Something that I noticed too in just doing my practice swings, this driver whistles. I don't know if my mic can pick it up, but it sounds like a like you're putting a sword through the air. Like honest to God, it's the first driver that I've heard this whistle. I don't know if there's an air gap in the weight or what is making that, but in my practice swing, I hear a whistle. Crazy. Okay, back to hitting. Yeah, like anytime I can turn it over, yeah. feels like the best driver I've hit all year.
Like that ball speed daddy? <laughs> I wasn't getting anywhere close to this with Callaway. No. Like nowhere close. Nowhere close. I felt tagged. I hate looking at it. It's no bull that this is a hot driver. Out of all the drivers I've tested so far in 2022, that last session of hitting was by far my highest club head speed, highest ball speed, and probably my biggest overall numbers. And I was happy with the dispersion. Let's pull up the data and see comparing the two of them. Average ball speed of 172 is my biggest average of 2022, for sure. Let's compare that to the last one. So I gained two miles an hour in ball speed just between the LTDX and the LTDX LS. The spin definitely came down, so without a doubt it is a lower spinning driver. And my club head speed went up. So I'm getting improved numbers on all of them across the board. The thing that I notice difference, and this is why we recommend getting fit, is now with the LTDX LS, I was able to move some left where with the LTDX, I had none that went left. The ones that are I'm turning over are going further, but at least I know I can work the ball both ways if I had to. Let's find my biggest drive with that LS. Like I had multiple carries over 310. 315 carry, and that was a cut. 315 carry cut 338 total with 120 mile an hour club head speed and a 178 ball speed. That's huge. What else was close to that? 312, 312 cut in the air, 333 total, 313 total or carry, 313 carry with a 335 total with a, kind of like a miss hit, like a, a flared cut. Okay. I came into this review wanting to know if Cobra was as hot as everyone's saying they are. Without question, this is the hottest driver I've hit of 2022. Personally, I'm a visual guy, so it kind of bums me that the visuals don't match the results. I think that these can be customized to look better. That's the only knock that I have. I've never been a big Cobra guy, and this driver has changed all of that for me. If you're in the market for a new driver, I 100%, I 200% recommend hitting the Cobra LTDX lineup. I'm thoroughly impressed and it's kind of a weight off of my shoulders. I've always wanted to like Cobra. I like their staff players and I've never been a huge fan of their products. This changed all of that. Go hit it, find out for yourself if this is the hottest driver you've ever hit. Before you get out of here, smash subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see our future videos. We'll check in with you 